Guys, recently I purchased a small lot of Canadian tokens. Upper Bank, uh, Wellington, just some random tokens, half pennies. And today's video topic is how do we legally clean copper coins? Legally clean copper coins. So I, I wanted to talk about that today. Uh, we have a bank token here, one penny from 1837. And this is my trusty Canadian Colonial Coin book, 5th edition. Yeah, it's from 2003, but you know what? Uh, I'm not using this as, as you know set in stone for prices. It just helps me identify these coins. So uh, there's, there's a Quebec bank on the ribbon where it says bank right there. And then... There's uh, a different slogan on the bank. So let's take a look and see what we can find on that ribbon. It says bank. Okay, it says ribbon on the bank. So we're going to be up here. We've got a strong ground. We've got a weak ground. A period after Canada. And we have a metal designation. That's going to be the diaxis. Up, up is metal. Up, down is coin. Okay, so this is up. That's the top of the coin. That's 12 o'clock. When we flip it on the 12, 6 axis, that's up as well. That would be up, up. That's a metal. If it was up, down, if we flipped it and the obverse would be upside down, that would be considered the up, down or the coin. That would be the coinage. So, you know, we've got different things going on here. And, you know, what kind of price are we looking at? These are retail prices and they're old prices, but there's no way this is extra fine, okay? Yes, we can see some some lines and some detail, but let's see if we can clean this up. There's, there's some gunk on there. Let's get another look. What is going on? What is going on in this coin? Let's see if we can clean some of that stuff up. Now, this is illegally. We do not want to do that to the coin. Take a look at this. This was part of the lot. I, I just looked at this and, and my stomach was churning. What? Why? Why did somebody illegally, improperly clean this coin? It just, that coin should not look like that, okay? It should look dark. It should look dark. Oh, so, you know, this video is to show you how to legally clean a coin. Let's take a look. We're not using this. We're not using any kind of a bit with steel or, or steel wool or something to, to illegally clean that coin. That just irks me. Let's take a look at legal, the way what I call is legal coin cleaner. This is called Coin Care. And I actually recommend going to your local coin shop to see if they have some of this stuff. Uh, let's support our local coin shops here. Uh, directions, gently use a Q-tip or soft cloth. Moisten with coin care. Any excess can be removed with a dry cloth. It removes soil and coating from coins, leaving a natural finish. It ab adds a lubri lubricant as a protective film. Uh, you don't want to use paper products. You do not want to use paper products. Paper products, even on your eyeglasses, they're going to scratch. And there's going to be little micro scratches. Again, this is not a big money coin. I probably wouldn't even clean this. Uh, I would just let that ride if this was 100, 200 or up. But eh, let's, for the sake of making a video, let's see what we can do with this coin. So, you know, we've got a cotton ball, we've got the Q-tips such as the direction instructs, but you know, my wife, she uses makeup and uh, I grabbed one of these. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to uh, put this phone in a selfie stick for a quick second. Bear with me. I appreciate your patience. And we're going to throw some of this coin care on... I'm going to do one, two quick little dabs, and let's see what we can do. As soon as we do it just a couple times, we can see some of that gunk is coming off. 
and it's it, it's it's oily. It smells the smell of this stuff. It almost has like a, a citrus smell to it. And are we damaging the surface of this coin? Well, we're we're trying not to. You know, should I be go up, down, sides, uh, circles, counterclockwise? If I was using, yeah, you know. On a silver coin, you, you probably might see some of that, that come in, especially in the fields, but this is an old copper coin, and we're, we're not looking at a big-time uh, investment here. This is just a small little lot I picked up. Let's see if we can improve the appearance of this coin a little bit. And sometimes you just got to really work this stuff Maybe uh, do it once, wait five minutes, it, that surface grime will loosen up a little bit. Um, but again, this is just a low value coin. Um, the, the directions it said to dry that excess with a dry cloth, you, you want to use cotton. You want to use cotton. It puts a little film on there. It's like oil. So, just a couple more swirls here. And I'm just going to use this side of the cotton to dry it off. And we're going to take a look at this underneath the uh, loop here in a second. So, Legally and illegally, this is legal because we, we're, we're not trying to trick anybody here. We're not trying to misrepresent a coin. We're just trying to clean some of that those surface imperfections. So from afar, there's still some stuff on there. But, you know, overall, it, it does look a little better. That's the reverse. Here's the obverse. Here's the obverse. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's take a look. It's got those cotton fibers in there. But we can see that period after the letter A. After the letter A, there's a little dot. So that was one of the things that was... Uh, trying to determine the value in, in the book was that dot and we could see bank very nice Quebec nice and clear let's take a look underneath the loop here it looks better it looks better there's still some gunk there you know I might come back in a couple minutes and, and see if I can remove some more of that but legal legally cleaning the coin illegally cleaning a coin. Don't do this. Do not use some kind of abrasive brush or or some kind of high polish, some other um, cleaners. You know, there, there's, a, there's a legal way, there's a way that's kind of accepted in the hobby, and then there's illegal. So, you know, what we did here today, uh, did we make this coin worth more? No, you know, the coin is still, it's still the same grade. We're just trying to clean it up a little bit and uh, just trying to get the details to come out, maybe because we want to identify it. So um, I hope you guys have learned something. Again, legal cleaner called Coin Care for copper products. Um, we're not really trying to pull a fast one on anybody we're just trying to legally clean it without damaging it keeping their value uh, and and when I see this you know my stomach turns this hey it looks pretty nice uh, maybe I'll put it up for auction at our coin club you never know thanks for watching if you have any questions about legal coin cleaning Please leave them in the comment box below, and I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you, and have a good day.